I'm Jennifer Jamal in the Newswatch newsroom. Coming up next, meet the newest star at the Los Angeles Zoo. I'm Jennifer Jamal in Westchester, where a building explosion kills a Los Angeles firefighter. That story coming up. Jim, outside the John's supermarket where the robbery and shooting took place. Now, detectives have released a composite sketch of the suspect a short time ago in the hopes that someone will recognize him. Police say he has robbed at least five other stores in the area. A home invasion leads to a chilling 911 call. By the time police got to the West Hollywood home, it was too late. I'm Jennifer Jamal in Beverly Hills, where the stars come out to do the right thing. That story coming up. Those stories and more, next on Newswatch. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Jamal in the Newswatch newsroom. Our top story tonight, a deadly explosion in Westchester. The blast killed a firefighter and left investigators wondering how it happened. This mangled building used to be the Water and Power Community Credit Office in Westchester. But three explosions heavily damaged the building yesterday, killing Los Angeles firefighter Brent Lovren. Joe Souf, who works next door, heard the blasts. So what did you see when you saw the explosion? Um, I, when I seen the... I just seen the whole wall rip apart right in front of our building, basically. And then we seen the fireman that was injured, you know, that actually passed away. Firefighters were called to the area around 2 p.m. after residents saw dark smoke coming from this manhole cover on Sepulveda Boulevard. Lovren saw smoke coming from the credit union and entered the business, but he was blown back and killed while trying to get into an electrical panel. Fire official Armando Hogan says the department has been dealt a great loss. Anytime we lose one of our own, particularly in the line of duty, it can particularly hits home. But more importantly, he was an outstanding individual who worked hard, was very receptive to constructive criticism, wanted to do better, worked hard to be an outstanding firefighter, and he will be sorely missed by the men and women of this Los Angeles Fire Department. Businesses are closed for now as investigators try and figure out what happened. They're also concerned this building could collapse. For now, engineers are keeping everyone out. It was like a bomb. Paulino Ramirez, who works near the credit union, is concerned about going back to work. We're afraid, we're afraid that this is going to happen again. At this point, fire investigators are still trying to figure out what caused the blast. Meantime, a memorial service will be held for Lovren next week. In other news, filmmaker Spike Lee received a prestigious honor tonight. He was awarded the Behind the Lens Award. I spoke with Lee, who said the ceremony was like a family reunion. From Do the Right Thing to Bamboozled, Spike Lee is known for his controversial films. But tonight was not about controversy, as stars flooded the red carpet to celebrate this groundbreaking director. Lee was the recipient of Chrysler's Behind the Lens Award. How do you feel tonight getting this award? Feel good. Feel good. Gonna see a lot of people that I haven't seen in a while. It's gonna be a great night. A lot of people you've collaborated with here tonight. In front of, in front of and behind the camera. The award honors African American filmmakers in movies and photography. Past winners have included Quincy Jones and John Singleton. Frank Fountain of the Chrysler Corporation said Lee's vision and creativity made him an obvious choice. He's been able to uh, provide access to other people of color and brought them into the, the industry, either behind or in front of the camera. And so we, uh, uh, it, was a, it was a very easy decision. Celebrities from a wide variety of backgrounds showed up to the red carpet tonight. No surprise, given Lee's broad spectrum of films. What is your favorite Spike Lee joint? I would have to say for me, maybe Jungle Fever. Miracle at St. Anna. She's got to have it. Malcolm X. What is your favorite Spike Lee joint? Uh, well, I was in Bamboozle, so I'm a little, you know, kind of partial to that, but um, I really love Malcolm X. Journalist Soledad O'Brien said she enjoys all of his work. I'm very excited for him. I mean, he is he's a, a, an amazing filmmaker. He's an incredible documentarian, and he also is a wonderful human being. Other honorees include director Melvin Van Peoples and cinematographer Gordon Parks. That's going to do it for tonight. Thank you for watching Newswatch. I'm Jennifer Jamal. Have a good night. Jay Betty White is a Hollywood legend. Now she has a new title, Animal Ambassador at the LA Zoo. From snakes to birds, the Golden Girl star will host exhibit openings and VIP tours for the LA Zoo. She says even with all of her awards, this is the highest honor. Well, I'm thrilled to death. I can't tell you how honored I am. White has been a volunteer at the zoo for more than 40 years. For Newswatch, I'm Jennifer Jamal.